Hey guys, welcome back. We're back out in the garden and it's time to trellis some of these plants. We do have a lot of the things growing that need trellises are going to be on these arch trellis ways. I'll leave a link for that video. But what we're going to be doing is using some of the extra panel that was left over from making these trellises to make some new trellises for the garden for some of our tomatoes and cucumbers that are in the center of the garden beds. Now for our first trellis, we're going to be using the bottom section of our arch trellis ways that we removed so we could fit them into the beds. They have these excess metal spikes sticking off the bottom. That's what we're going to remove first. Now this section has 18 panels. So what we're going to do is find center and remove that center metal piece that's holding the two sections together, splitting this whole section in half and leaving two metal spikes on each side about six inches long that we'll use to stick into the ground to secure them and keep them in place. Now to secure them together, we're going to be using metal wiring to lash the two pieces together at the top. Now face the horizontal pieces inward and lash them together that way so the metal is touching. That'll create a hinge. That way you can adjust the size of your trellis to fit your garden bed. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the next section. That'll give us four corners to our trellis pyramid. Once you have the first section in, you're going to place the second section right over the top of it perpendicular to create a pyramid. This is going to have four corners or four sections to it that will be lined up perfectly with our indeterminate tomatoes, which we strategically place. That way they, each tomato plant will have its own section of the trellis to go up. Now we secure this at the top with a little bit of garden wiring. And there you have it, our first trellis is complete. Now for the next section, we're gonna be using the full panels. These are a little too big for the bed, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the bottom two panel sections. We know from building our arch trellises that the bottom two are removed, and then they'll fit in perfectly inside the bed widthwise. Now that we've got that done, we're gonna remove the bottom horizontal piece, and we're gonna cut those out, giving us approximately a 12 inch spike that's gonna go into the ground or stake that's gonna secure these panels in vertically so they're not gonna have much wobble or room for movement. Our first vertical panel is gonna go in, paralleling our arch trellises right in the center of the bed. Now we're gonna trim down the next panel to mimic the one we just finished. Now for placement, we're going to put this perpendicular to our vertical trellis and our arch trellis. For a little extra stability, we want to attach the panels together. Not only our vertical panels, but also attach them to our arch trellis. To do that, we are going to be using our split bolts that we got from our livestock panel connectors from One Man Fencing. Once the bolt is removed, we know that it can hold two of these panels together. So we're going to slide them between the two panels, connecting it together, and using a three quarter inch socket, we're going to secure the nut to the bolt. Now that our two vertical panel trellises are connected together, we are gonna connect it to our arch trellis, which is affixed to the bed. This will ensure that no matter how heavy these vertical trellises get, they will not topple over, they will not bend and will not move. Interested in these cattle panel connectors or the bolts, you can check out One Man Fencing on Amazon or you can check them out on their website, onemanfencing.com and check out the video where we use them and I'll show you how to put everything together. Now we're gonna mimic exactly what we did with that tomato bed over here with our pickling cucumbers. Remember those sections we cut off the vertical panels? 
We're going to be using those sections to create another pyramid trellis. It's just going to be about half the size of the first one that we put together. But the method of assembly is the exact same. We're going to be using our wiring to connect everything together. Placing one in the bed over the other one. And then giving our beans just a little bit of extra support. be taken into consideration is to make sure that you have your cucumbers that are going to grow up your trellis you want to be able to help them along you're going to have to guide them they're not going to just naturally gravitate towards the trellis and start going up it so it's going to take some extra work so in this case we have it growing out towards the west a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in through here and start the weaving process so we're gonna start it here. As it grows a little bit more, we'll push it back through and we'll just start weaving it through here. And all the extra leaves and stems that are coming off of it, we'll start pulling it towards our trellis here, our arch trellis. And eventually as it grows, it'll start having these little tentacles that come out and they're gonna to attach to here and continue the process of going up the trellis. They're gonna to continue to go up the trellis. There'll be a point where they're just gonna to continue to uh, rise up and you're gonna to have to continue the weaving process if you want to try to encompass an entire arch trellis like this. So we have all of our cucumbers here. They're starting that process where they're going into that first weave. So we're gonna keep monitoring this and this you have to be active and stay on top of. All right, guys, so that is it. All of our cattle panel trellises are done. We started off a couple weeks ago doing our arch trellises using the one-man fencing livestock panel connectors. And then from there, all the excess that we cut off, we used that to create all of the extra panel or all the extra trellises that we needed for the garden. We have our tomatoes and cucumbers on these tea trellises, which were the huge cutoffs of probably about 40 inches or so, 36 to 40 inches of excess that we were able to stake into the ground using the livestock panel connector uh, bolts that are at the end, the large ones that need the three quarter inch bolts or nuts. Those are the ones we're using to hold everything together. That works great, we got two of those. And then the thin pieces that we cut off the sides, off the bottom of it, <clears throat> excuse me, we are using to make our, our pyramids. And I think they turned out perfectly. They are sturdy, they have a unique look to them, and they're really easy to assemble, and they can easily break down, fold up, and be put away when they're all done. So if you have any excess, there's always something to do. So we have no waste from this except for our small little spikes, which we'll either find something to do with or we'll just recycle them. So that is it. If you have any questions or comments or any other suggestions, think, something you think we could do with it, because we have one more panel, an eight footer from when we built the fence. Uh, leftover that was going to turn into a tomato cage, but right now I'm going to leave it. Maybe we'll come up with something new to use uh, for that later on this year. And thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you soon.